Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm gonna tell you why I have decided to take a break from all social media outside of YouTube. Sorry for my appearance. I'm just gonna get straight into this video. I moved this past week but I wanted to get on here and put this video out for anybody else who's like struggling with social media. I have always had a love and hate relationship with social media, like for as long as I'm known. And I'm like a really, really strong person. I've always been somebody who forged my own path, which is weird. And I'm so outspoken on social media. It's very weird for me to be saying it's like I have a YouTube channel, so. That kind of doesn't make sense. But um, the really big triggers for me are Twitter and Instagram. Twitter has never been a healthy environment for me. I don't know what it is about Twitter. The way people talk on Twitter, the things that are said on there, the easy ways you can get into arguments on Twitter. Like, it's so much subtweeting going on and you don't really know what people are saying. So I deleted Twitter back in 2013 and like, I never really got one again. Um, I would like create one for like, test drive it out for like a week or two and it just never, it's just always been toxic. So Twitter is always gone. But the next thing for me that wasn't, it's very subtle, I would say Instagram. And Instagram has just been a pain in my side. Like, it's like a bittersweet relationship because in some aspects, I need Instagram for like my YouTube channel and just to stay connected to people. It's been like my space to like vent about things I'm dealing with. And I speak out about a lot of things on Instagram and like I share a lot of information on there. But it's been very hard for me ever since I became a mom. I gained, it's no secret, I gained weight when I had my son. And after having him, I didn't snap back like other people did. A lot of people had a baby, breastfeed, snap back. And it really impacted me, especially because I worked so hard to lose weight prior to having my son. And then to gain it all back in like nine months when it took me like two and a half years to lose all of it. And like, it's been impossible, so hard to lose. Like, I don't know, it's just been annoying. But the other thing would be the lifestyle comparison. I will be happy and then I notice my mood will shift a lot when I consume too much social media, especially Instagram. I will be in a good space and I compare myself to others. For instance, like if I wanna be in a relationship but I don't have one, I'm like, okay, what's wrong with me? If I'm supposed to be a certain way and I'm like, why am I I'm working my butt off? This person's over here eating chicken Alfredo every day and they're smaller than me. Like, what's, what's going on? Or like, if I compare myself to the people that have kids and they're married and they're taking beautiful Christmas pictures. Like, there's so much comparing going on it's so subtle like i don't really realize i'm doing it but it just happens it's just subtle that's the only way i can describe it like i just feel like i compare myself to where i am in my life and where i'm trying to be and it's hard when i moved this weekend i broke my phone on friday i haven't really had not just social media i haven't even been able to text or anything and like for the for so long, I just feel free. Like a lot of people keep asking me like, how are you feeling? Like, what's it like? I'm honestly freeing. I'm so much more focused. I got so much work done in the first four hours of my day than I've ever gotten done and I don't even know how long. I spend more quality time with my son. I feel like I don't spend as much time as I should with him. And I feel like I spent a lot more quality time. I actually was paying attention to him. Like all my attention was on him. It wasn't like we're sitting down and I'm scrolling through my phone, you know? I was able to pretty much unpack my house in like record time. Like honestly, we unpacked like less than 24 hours. Like it's just, I feel like a weight has been lifted. And the thing that's so crazy is prior to all of this, I was watching these documentaries literally the day before I broke my phone. And the documentaries was about this guy. He never had social media ever and he noticed like what his life has been like without it and everything just kept popping up like I took a year break from social media what my life was like without social media and I was really thinking about it like I woke up the next day and I wanted to delete Instagram that day 
And I was like, let me wait. And literally I broke my phone. So I was like, all right, God, I hear you talking to me. I hear you talking to me. So I'm gonna be obedient and I'm gonna just take it for what it is. And so I've decided that I'm gonna take a little hiatus from social media, not YouTube. Cause YouTube, I mean, I feel like YouTube is more of an educational platform and it's like more, at least for me, I go in here to like learn things. I call like a lot of people call YouTube, YouTube university. So like YouTube, I don't get on here and I'm like, oh, I wish I had that. Or I, I don't compare myself because with YouTube, YouTube's on Instagram. You, I mean, some people can edit videos, but like vloggers can't really facetune themselves. Like if somebody, like if you think their body is a certain way, when they start vlogging, when they take their makeup off and like they have blemishes on their skin or they're going through a tough time, it like it's more real. Like I've always felt YouTube is a very real platform. Like there's only so much <laughs> you can do to hide your imperfections. Like it's real. If your house is tore up, you're gonna see it on camera. You're not gonna be able to make the mess go away. If you're having a massive breakout, you're gonna see it. If you're broken up with somebody and your energy isn't the same, you're gonna see the energy change. Like, there's just things you're gonna see. Like, you're just gonna, that can't really be seen in a picture. And that's why like YouTube, I feel like you see the highlights and like the lows. Like, you don't just see like the greats, you see the bad too, you know? And I feel like I just need to take this break. I don't know how long, I was really thinking a year, but I think I'm gonna just, aim small I'm gonna go without it for at least a month definitely a month and that's gonna be all social media outside of YouTube like no social media consumption outside of YouTube and I know I'm gonna do that for at least a month and I'm gonna update you guys within this month and see like if it's worth it how I'm feeling what I learned from this but I honestly like after a month when I initially went natural I was like I'm gonna be natural for a month and I liked it so much, uh, here we are five years later. So I'm gonna shoot for a month and if I really like it, I don't know guys, I might just snip it out, snip it out, you never know. But I wanted to tell you guys what was going on in my life. Um, I wanted to share that with me. I feel like a lot of people struggle with social media and we don't talk about it. I'm like one of the, I'm a millennial. I'm a kind of an older millennial. Um, so I remember life before social media. If I didn't really get into social media until high school, I was a freshman, y'all. I was a freshman 15 years ago. That's how old I am. Yikes. So, and that's when I got my first social media account, which was MySpace, 15 years ago. So I've been having social media for 15 years, but I still remember life before social media. Like I remember what it was like. And I just want to get back from that. I just remember being happy. Leo just woke up guys. So I got to cut this video short, but I just want to fill you guys in and I'm taking a break from social media. So I'll update y'all in a month and let you know how it went. But if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe, push notifications. Just push them and I will see you guys next week. And if social media is stressing you out, just take a break. Fog off. Chill out. Zen out. You deserve it. I love you guys. Bye.